test. This is the emergency brake test. This is the parallel parking test. The test has finished. Please note, when you don't hear the name of the exam required to take, you must continue driving by car until hearing the instruction, because our implementation of any of these sections of the parking exams without hearing the instruction of them will lead us to fail. When you don't hear any instruction for the exam, you must ask the responsible supervisor to help. Please note, you must pay attention on the white and yellow lines during practical training lessons and the difference between them and what each color is used for so that the instructions shown in these videos are easy to understand and implement and to ensure success in exams from the first time. Please note, you must not make a sound while pulling up the handbrake. We should pay attention to the state of the exam car at the beginning of the parking exam in order to know to which direction we will drive at the beginning of the exam. According to that, maybe we have to start driving reverse a little and then start driving forward. Or it may be ready. So we start the exam with the gear position on D drive and drive forward to the parking exam. We must not turn the power steering wheel when the car is not moving if we want to maneuver. When moving forward to the right, or to the left while entering or exiting any parking and just remove the power steering wheel only when the car is moving. In the parking garage, we can maneuver in order to correct the return and avoid driving over the lines, but only once. When exiting parallel parking, the power steering wheel should be kept as it is at the end of entry 